the very unfortunate strength of our neighbors is slowly being offset by our own growing strength. Which, of course, we need to keep working on. Uh, but we can't spend all our money in one place. We need to be a bit careful. More pikemen. Sounds good. There, he's converting. The Catholicism. Lovely man. Thank you very much. And again, we will just wait to bear children. Our succession so far is halfway assured. She needs to find herself an husband, though. Ah, very good. There we go. Okay, we could be center leader. We could be a flanker. Or a battlefield terrain master. Or a trickster. Um, I think... Leading the center often is the most dangerous thing. And since I am aiming to use her as a commander at some point, uh, I think we should be on the flank. The narrow flank is a defensive option and the flanker is the offensive version of it. So... Maybe we can get both. That would be lovely. But for now... I think we'll go for the offensive option. I am aiming to duel our rival at some point. If Sunny Vassals will object, is our rival a Sunny Vassal? Yes, he is. So we can very much revoke all those titles that are held by Sunni vassals. And we'll give it to proper Christian men and or women. Yeah, it grieves you deep. I understand and it, it would grieve you. So now let's check our court and I think, what did we have? A mosque? Bishopric? Yeah, perfect. This man gets bishopric. And all titles below it. And this man gets the barony. And we still have, yeah. Should I? Well, these are. Baronies as well. So we're all good. It's very attractive to see all these open because sometimes it's a really, really hard fought battle to get there. So this is lovely. We'll stay exactly where we are. As long as we have direct line rulership. With which I mean, as long as there's, you know, rulers um, in our succession line that are of our. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to marry her, uh, not not ourselves, but I'm going to find her someone to marry. So news from China. Mongol armies are ready. Huh? Seems possible. Okay, there's still France now has a piece over here. Interesting. Interesting. Must be some sort of succession thing. How can this pass outside of the realm if it is forbidden?
This is one of the mechanics I never really understood. It has happened so often in the past that I lose a county to inheritance and I had this thing on. Oh well. So Georgia is shrinking ever more. Like they still have their despicable pact while we have zero pacts. Only with our lovely husband court physician. We are dating a doctor. Every Asian family stream. Asian mother stream. Which is very racist to say. But it's in so many comedies that's probably still funny enough. Uh, yeah, and that's uh, Arabia lost to Crusader Egypt. Same. Is Jerusalem also ruled by a woman? No. A boy. A little boy. What sickness are we looking at here? Are you? Camp fever. That's not so bad. Generally, if you don't actually lead troops, you shouldn't get it. We have zero connection to China. Um, we can't become tributary to China. I'm just looking for ways out of the situation we're currently in. Who are you fighting? Some rebellion somewhere. What rebellion where? Okay, if they if they come here, we'll just raise our troops. As well I think we should. So he leads the center, we lead the flank. And we attack. Immediately get rid of these. Ah! Hey! Cool, we could get both, but rough terrain. No, we don't have forests. We have a bunch of hills. Now we get both, both flanking. So she's perfectly suited to fight on the flank. Now, let's. Run him down for a duel and hope for the best. I was chasing. Avag shoved me aside. I'll take this one, my lady! Vigorously swinging his fanged. flanged mace and he dies. Our teacher. Well, no. That's a commander of ours. Oh no, the enemy died, not... Uh, yeah, the enemy died. There we go. Oh, we could hold a grand tournament. Who do you want to marry? My courtier Valpurga. Sure, you can... Marry her. By the way, the guy that loved us is already gone again, so we need to kind of build up to a point where we can um, convince a lot of them at once to like us. Otherwise, it's probably not going to work. It is a shame. Again, we need 16 here as a baseline. Oh no, we get 72 currently. All right, do we, do we get 72 from everyone? No, 42. 42. 
What do we get 72 from this guy? Is it always if there's 8? Fifty. Okay, we can get a few. Let's get the few that we can get. Seventy-two. Let's go bottom up. Version. Two. Kids are hard to impress, it looks like. 58, we paid him. Did we pay him? How did I miscalculate that? Let's sway him. Three. How much did I get for you? Maybe two just, it's not enough. enough. For you, 42 as well. I think that guy was an outlier. 42. 16. A bit more costly. But it'll... 58 again. I am so bad at math. I think I know what my issue is. Before it was 48 it gave us, I think. Instead of 42. Or you can have the great pox. Girl. Uh, go improve relationships with the papacy. And you come back home. Don't improve relationships with the Mongols. We have a whole one! Yeah, are you Mongol? Yeah, Kuman. It doesn't count. We need real, fully fledged Mongols. You Mongol? Yes. Can't send you a gift? Too distant. Everyone here too distant? Yeah. Shame. Are you a Mongol? Man. So I'm looking for Mongols. Has anyone seen any Mongols? They're definitely too far away. Yeah. So we are kind of stuck with these Mongols here. Now that's way too expensive for what it gives us. Wow. They're also Persian. They're, they're the wrong people anyway. Eight. That just gives us 50. We need more than 16. 18 is what we need. Because I'm really, really bad at math. I hope it'll eventually work out. Ah, we're pregnant. Good, 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 good. And... Uh, we will go ahead and... And let's pray. Why not? It's our first child. That's a little bit scary. Barely 19. We love talking. We are strong. We don't need health bonus. Look at that. And we... Uh, are becoming gregarious, which is really nice. People love that. Oh no. 
Our retinues are being slaughtered. Well, quick, raise an actual army to deal with this incursion. Ah. Our husband gave us a whole lot of presents. Increases our health. All around me, the men are cheering as routing soldiers flee in wild panic has been... Okay. Get 100 prestige from that. Nice. But we lost a whole bunch of retinue. Right. Okay. Our sister says the peasants have started a lovely tradition. Yeah, we support the Harvest Festival. That's okay. And we have some new technology we can go for. Yes, castle infrastructure. Giving us castle town next level. We can upgrade our gold making opportunities. Which is really costly. But we're going to do it. This is our regent as we are nearing the end of our pregnancy. Alright. This Mongol man is swayed. Does that also mean he counts now? Yes, he does. Okay, we can do that then. Can do that. We can do that indeed. So we look for Mongols who kind of like us. Twenty-six going to give us up to forty-eight. That's not enough to sway. Eighteen. Twenty-six. Why? Why is my money suddenly not good enough for you anymore? All Persians. 26 what? Have you all become rich or something? Why is it down to 26? I'm confused. Ah. Our daughter. Our lovely little daughter. And she will call be called after our grandmother. Fortunata. And she will struggle as well. All the women, all the men in this line are strugglers. Not stragglers, but stragglers. Let's see. Can we get something... ...good here? Prince of Sweden. Prince of Pannonia. for matrilineal betrothal. On aggression pact with King Clement of Anatolia. If we take the bastard kid here. But he doesn't want it. Why not? Fortunata doesn't have enough skills for you yet. Fine. We'll just wait for her to grow a little bit older. Yes, only the Pope may baptize our dear little Fortunata. No, actually, she will be baptized as anyone else. Okay. Cannot wait to take the communion again. We'll reintroduce ourselves into the Catholic Church. And we will humble ourselves before God. And we take the communion. And everything is fine. And go forward with our lives. Not make moves on people. Right, I need to be a little bit more careful. 
without Rick near there. My scribes, my scribes have provided me with the latest draft of my book. Upon reading it, I'm not convinced it's moving in the right direction. Maybe we ask him. It might lower the quality of our work. So we shall become a little bit stressed. We'll live with the risk of lowering quality here. So where are the troops of Jerusalem going to anyway? Defending against Emir Nuradin the Bold. Holy War for Ascalon. Have a feet what What is this? The Latin Empire. Twenty four thousand men. That is the Latin Empire all of a sudden. Do you have someone to give away? No, you don't. Oh, uh. well, that's new. Oh, we could swear fealty to the Latin Empire. This is a big decision. We could finally come under the umbrella of something bigger. Something to defend us here. And I think we shall. I think we shall. Shelf swear fealty. I mean, he might revoke our titles, which would be pretty terrible for us. Um, especially since he wants the duchy of a Armenia Minor, which we're holding. Okay, we keep this on the backhand for now. So if there is some holy war against us, we swear fealty. Oh no. Let's call for our court physician to help our court physician. Maybe we can secure an alliance with them in a more natural manner. we hold a grand tournament now it's too expensive what are you fighting with no one really Duke Rasul of the Rasuld Emirate has formed an alliance with our sister. Ah, both of our dukes are now allied with each other. Interesting. Let's get non-aggression pacts at home. We were just declared war upon. And this is the holy war for Edessa. Okay. Time to swear some fealty. Uh, which we can't. We must be at peace for that. And that, my dear... People, is how it ends for us. There's only one thing to do. No, we can't even adopt their faith. 
Should have sworn fealty. Okay, what can we do? What are our options? They have vastly superior armies. 23,000. We have a mere 12,000. And we have no allies to call upon. And our troops are going to cost all the money that we earn. So we are not even able to rely on allies. Uh, on, on mercenaries. So this might be how it ends for us. We'll most certainly try and prevent it by stacking up quickly and attacking early. But, as you can see, they're just pouring in already. Center leader, flank leader. We need to... Attack. Attack, attack, attack. And keep attacking. Right. This is going to end badly. We'll try and get a white piece out of this. Oh no, look at all those armies encroaching. Oh no! No! Oh, we are soundly defeated. Ouch! Ouch, ouch, ouch! That was terrible, but... As I said, there's, there's nothing we can do. There's literally nothing left to do. Uh, he has still 20,000, so this isn't even all he has. Can't afford our mer- You could hire one Holy Order because all of the others are already on contract. Let us hire them at least. Prop ourselves up a little bit. Um, I am not wealthy. I am in dire need of help. Okay, I think... Oh god. Uh... Okay, let's look to his dukes. From... no. On tree. Want to get rid of anyone? Nope. No, doesn't even matter. Oh man. Uh, what can we do? No one. There's someone. Going to give us anyone matrilineally? Perfect. You are. They're all terrible. They're club-footed, ugly, whatever you have. Ah, oh, no, they're not. They're not giving it us. 
Are you going to give me the other good? Yes. We can always break the betrothal again. That's alright. But for now, we need allies. It is 3,000 men we don't have to pay for. So it's not ideal. But it is something. Until more holy orders become available. If they ever do. On a touch, please. And we can supplement with one more mercenary army. Which we probably should try at least. This is a shame. All the holy orders are out. Just imagine having the Knights Templar on our side. Oh. That not be lovely. Okay, let's check the cost for hiring. We could go for one really, really large army. Especially this one. But we can't afford them. We could hire some Jews. The thing is, even if we beat... Well, we can... Make them a little bit smaller. We could have a huge army of cavalry. Which would crush them, absolutely. We can still get money from Jewish merchants and throw them out. We're not entirely out of options. We're actually going to stop reinforcing these so we have a little bit more headway in terms of money. So we're going to hire... Let's see if there's a cheaper upkeep version with a lot of cavalry. Let's go by total strength only. How are these high? Light infantry doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're going to go for one of those really, really huge armies. It's a lot of pike and a lot of... Like, this is a really one, really good one. Oof. Okay, we're going to wait until our ally has attached and arrived. They're not in full strength yet. Let them move a bit more. We have to move quickly though, because once they reach 100%, we are lost. Holy Order. Oh! Yes, all of them are free. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Knights of Crete. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Okay. Where we are at? Okay, we can get a normal mercenary band on top of this. One we can halfway afford. So let's go for monthly cost. These would be neat. Should we get our own men? Yeah, and then we start getting a move on. Center leader. Flank leader. Okay, he's finding more troops as well. But attrition is really doing him in now. It might also... Oh god, it's it's completely destroying us. Oh god, no. 
Not the attrition. Oh, God, no. Okay, we're going to speed this up a bit because I can't watch. Oh, no. Look at what the attrition is doing to our army. Oh, God, no. Oh, all the wrong moves. Oh, we should have just... Shoulda, coulda, woulda. This is... Ah, oh, God, no. Yeah, well, we're going to lose this one hard. Because he has reinforcements, he has the defensive side. Ah, uh, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait just a minute, we have one. Okay. Okay, let's get us another band here. Another mercenary troop. For 31. How did we win that? How many troops does he have in general? 16,000. Okay, we're going to go siege here. I should pursue. But I need to retake this. We have lost a huge amount of war score in the initial battle. Okay, we need to stop swaying this man. Yeah, we're carrying a fierce little fighter indeed. Okay, there they come again. 13,000. Okay, we have taken this back. They are moving to here. So we will engage them there. No, we will not engage them there. They walk around. Right now we can still afford what we got, so we'll just wait a little bit. Let them move away. I learned so much just by listening. Okay, we need our spy master. And we'll put our spy master here, I think. The sabotage a province. So we see his troop movements. Okay, he has 20,000. Ah, yes. The Latin Empire would like to join us, but they are down to 2,000 men. What happened to you, Latin Empire? Where are your 20,000? Okay, let's uh, borrow us some money. Air. 
and he will call be called uh, Avag. What? Okay, they're right now in the plains down here. So now comes our big move. Our real big move. We're going to ha hire the 10,000 for just one battle. And we're going to hire the 10,000 that don't cost us a lifetime supply of everything we have. We're going to go for the worst option. And let's check his unit composition first. They have a bunch of light infantry. How much do we have of that? Less. So that wouldn't even be the worst thing for us. Light cavalry. We would completely outnumber in on that. This will be so bad. So we go through here, pick them up and go down there. That's our only play right now. And he will be baptized like any other kid. Oh God. Watch our money melt away. Ensure that all the people are where they should be. We go on this flank. And they go on that flank. Everyone. Wish us luck here. Oh no. We come in with so low morale. Our complete flank oh, immediately crumbled there. The one that we are leading anyway. Oh god, no. Oh, this was bad. Our only play completely failed. Completely failed. So now we're down to 3,000 troops. Because we were so. S what the hell? Like the Holy Orders just kind of skipped out of it. They're like, mm, yeah. No thanks, you're suicidal. We're done. We can surrender to this. There's no shame in it. Sometimes that just happens. Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It is the way of the world. We've lost our sister as well, I believe. She is now the Emira of Edessa. And she doesn't want to have an alliance with us. Swearing fealty to him also doesn't sound like a great idea anymore because... What happened, man? Where are all your troops? After this, I need a break. This was a really long one. So uh, if you stayed with us through all of this, wow, congratulations. Uh, I need a break. This hurts my heart. She deserves better. She doesn't deserve to be the first Armenian queen in a long line of proud Armenian queens to have lost a holy war against the infidels. She deserves so much better. <laughs>